Hello, my name is LC. I'm a native of Zimbabwe who have go, uh, actually lived in the United States for over 25 years. That's for those who don't know me through my videos. Um, today I have a different topic. It's a slightly different but it's the same but a little bit more serious because for those who be moving around, there's a lot of diaspora, encouragement, going back home. There's uh, people who are traveling. There are people who are meeting each other out there. And this video is all about people who are making international relationships. And this is in particular, I would say most parts of Africa. I don't know which country exactly might not be practicing this, but I know that in most parts, they practice this. And there's two parts to this um, video that I'm going to share today. And of course, these are really like brief things and you know, it's like giving you just like a highlight of what goes on in different relationships and how do we go step by step as people, they are in a relationship. One of the things that actually I was um, so surprised when I first came to America was people, they are in a relationship, what I would call boyfriend and girlfriend, but they are living together um, in the same household. And pretty much they are living together like they are married. And uh, back home, the way I was knowing things at that point, was not like that so i always see myself caught myself always asking a person like oh are you married you know something like that you know which was like a kind of like a silly person sort of because people they are wondering what marriage has anything to do with me living with someone you know so it was uh, you know people they feel like uh, you know like it was uh, a weird person it wasn't a normal person for a lot of people to me, was not only not normal, but also was very uh, surprising that this was taken as normal. And this is the reason why I'm so passionate about talking about cultural things. Because again, I don't know, I don't draw lines on what is good about a culture or what is bad about a culture because we are different and we do different things. As I've said before, I'm going to do a little bit more research and more work on really exploring culture and the borderlines of a culture and why a culture is there and how cultures are started. But this is not the video. So I don't, I don't, as I'm talking, I don't talk about whether this was good or this was bad. Just like I say, you know, whether this is good or bad, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just how things are, just the way they are, how people look at it, how people practice. This is what I talk about. So at home, I know that we have two divisions in a relationship, in a sense. It's either a relationship, there's a boy and a girl, they are just, you know, bo you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. And from that point on, we have another step, which is if they do move in together, we don't have a step of moving in together. That step is already called marriage. It's a step into the marriage. It's like the first stage into the marriage. So you are not called, you are just a boyfriend and girlfriend, we just moved in together. Yeah, when I watch these movies, um, most of the time I hear stories of people who obliviously they just went into a relationship, international relationship, and they are excited and they, 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 they want to experience, experience what it is like and sometimes they visit the place and only to find out they are shocked to find out they got into something that they did not expect. So this is very, very important. That's why I said before I'm very passionate about this because you don't want to get into that. If you can get yourself at least prepared and or at least know that this is coming or this might happen or at least know what questions to ask to your 
friend or your girlfriend or your boyfriend you know like how are things in your in your um in your traditions how things they go i remember myself you know because i'm one of those two when i ask these questions according to the american they say well we really don't have any kind of a, a, a tradition so you know you do whatever you want and i was like you do whatever you want how is that that was shocking to me you know like how can you just do what you want and i remember too when i told my husband well we have another tradition where I have to go through bride price. And that's another video I'm going to share with you another time. And my husband said, uh, I don't think I will ever talk about that to my father. And I said, why not? He is a part of the whole thing. And he said, no, I can't tell him that. Because you think, why do I have to buy you? You see, these are all... In a sense, actually, again, insulting another culture. So to me, that word alone buying was an insult to me because to us, it's a normal, regular tradition that we practice that the person have to be having the right price. So I'll talk about that another time. But then when a person gets into this second uh, uh, phase of their relationship where they are together, a long time ago, they used to call it a love. When a person a love, there was no turning back, like I'm just, you know, going to a love and then, then uh, a year later, if things don't work out, then I'll just come back. It was a commitment. A love was a commitment. And that's exactly how we relate to that. So when a person get and live with someone, you are married. You are already referred to as a married person. You are not a person who is just living with someone. And here in the Western world, it's really totally separate. You know, you're living with someone, then you get married, then you, whatever, if you're going to have a wedding. To us, living with someone, you are married, and then if you take it, uh, uh, you have to take it further, actually, because you have to go and meet the parents and all that and do the traditional things that I'm going to talk about another time. But you are already married. And um, this can be very confusing. And this can make other people upset. And this also can make other people like afraid of other cultures and trying to get into a relationship with other cultures. But I think if you take it with respect, with understanding, it's not that bad. It's just what it is, and you have to understand it. And um, this, I think this is a, you know, all I have for you today to share with you how that works. Because many people here, I know a lot of people, they are really used to this second step is just, you know, it's, a, it's just a regular, you know, we are together and that's it. But if you have a relationship with someone, I'm from Zimbabwe and I know for sure, and I also say this, these cultures, they change. And like I say, I'm going to talk to you about cultures and how, how, the, what kind of borders the cultures has and all that. But cultures can change. And uh, some of these things, some people, they're kind of like, you know, um, not as, as uh, tight with it as a long time ago. They are changing, but it doesn't mean that these cultures are not still there. They are still existing, but other families, they're kind of loosening up and following the Western cultures and so on. So if you get into a family like that, you are lucky. But if you didn't, you better pay attention because this is very, very important. That comes with respect and honoring and all that. And if that is missed in that relationship, that can cause the whole relationship to completely not there. So that's what I have today. And again, please don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We are being caught up in the rain right now and we have to quickly just move. We are at the beach and um, I don't know where the rain came from. I know it was cloudy, but I didn't expect the rain. So we have to go. And please subscribe and the notification button and please put the like thumbs up for these videos because they educate you and they are important and you are going to need them one day if you are going to be traveling around and you're going to be involved in something or someone that you know.
that might be involved in someone, in, in someone from Africa or other parts, I believe, please do so. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I have to run from here. Bye-bye.